Hi, Kelly. Hi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome to The Source. We're live from Nairobi, thank Kenya. You. Where are you at? Thank you for having me. I, I'm in South Africa, Johannesburg. I'm on the mm-hmm. road. As you can see, mm-hmm. I'm in the car. Yeah. yeah. I'm just doing the final shopping before my four shows over the weekend. Oh, wow. Four shows. I four. already feel exhausted. Trust me. Yes. Wow. Four. That must be yeah. a lot. Are you excited? Are you ready? It's been my life for the past 16 years. Mm-hmm. Of course, I am excited because every performance is important. Mm-hmm. Hence yes. the prep and whatnot. So I am excited. You're a singer, reality TV star, a dancer, a mother. But beyond all these titles that people have given you, um, who are you? Who is Kelly? <laughs> Just a woman who strives to be the best that she can possibly be. And do you remember the first time you ever heard your music on the radio? What did that <laughs> feel like? I remember this was like 16 years ago. And I was in the township at my mother's house. And I was ble- busy cleaning the house. And why do you know? My song is on YFM and I could not believe my ears. Last year, you released a new album, The Voice of Africa, in the middle of a pandemic. Yes. Um, yes. How was that for you? How was the creative process and releasing um, this album? I started working on The Voice of Africa before um, the COVID-19 lockdown. So a lot of things were done already. The only thing that was left was obviously to shoot the cover, the, the cover sleeve as, as well as mix and master the album so it wasn't that much of a hassle but I mean I could have done quite a lot if it wasn't for the restrictions how did you deal with the lockdowns and the restrictions that came with the pandemic oh my I'm still trying to deal I'm still trying to recover from that because immediately after the lockdown I had just released my own gene called controversy so now Mm. the alcohol was banned and we can't promote we can't work we can't do much so i suffered quite a lot during the 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 lockdown what led you to start this gin business and get into uh the business of alcohol i've been meaning to have a business outside of my music Mm -hmm. i mean i want to leave a legacy for my children and Mm -hmm. i only want to sing when i want to sing not when i have to sing so I think mm-hmm. it is very important to tap into business and build other businesses outside of the music industry. Is this the reason why you decided to start your reality show? We don't have a dad. People have decided that they want me. Get out of here. 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 Get out of at the right time. Mm. But your life has had a few twists and turns. Uh, yeah. I, I will not like get into it. If your life was a novel, uh, what title would you give it and how would the story end? <laughs> Is there even a title for my life? <laughs> <laughs> you tell I, us. I don't. Huh? I would call it roller coaster. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, or that's gracefully been a lot. broken. Roller coaster Grace- or gracefully broken. Gracefully broken, beautiful. Yep. How will the story end? You have not told us that. I don't know how the story ends. Nobody mm-hmm. knows how the story ends. We can only hope for the best, and also having faith and praying for the best, and things will just be the best. Mm-hmm. How do you find peace? How do I find peace? I think I find peace by being true to myself. I live in the moment. I don't worry about the past or the future. It is always about the now. I know the song Mpini translates to in the battle. Uh, I'd like to ask you, what has been the biggest battle of your life? It's probably putting people first before myself. And, and it has been a battle up until last year when I just had to choose myself and put myself first. You also made this worship, worship song called Mpambweni. I hope I'm saying it right. Mpambweni. 
as Pambanwen. That's it. Oh, oh, oh. my tongue <laughs> know, cannot. My tongue cannot. Um, Don't but then worry, we'll us, come to how, Kenya and teach you. How does this song compare to all the other songs on the album? It's the, it talks about the significance of the cross. Yes. The unconditional love yeah. that was declared for all humankind, black or white, who are all rich. So it, this song just speaks for itself. It cannot be compared with any other song in the album. Mm-hmm. So all about salvation and our trials and tribulations. Yes, and God's. And God's love for us, I think that's what I want us to remember. The unconditional mm. love that God has for us and that God continues to show us on a daily basis. When it comes to the cover of the album uh, yeah. and then Mpini, you have yeah. uh, on like a black face. What yes. was the inspiration for that? So let's start with Mpini. Mpini is in the battle or at war. Yeah. And when soldiers would go at war, would camouflage themselves in mud so that they are yeah. not seen by their opponents. So yes. that's what I wanted to represent. And then when it comes to the Voice of Africa cover, I mm. wanted us to go back to celebrating uh, 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 the minerals that we own in the African continent, your charcoals and your oils. It reflects on that. And also with the African history of, of the Egyptians, there was a kid called um, uh, uh, Bastet, the goddess of, um, of the pharaohs that used to protect the pharaohs. The cat was black and it had all the golds and whatnot. So it's all about the richness of the African continent. 